while you're not getting paid what you're worth. We'll talk about that in this video. Stay tuned. Always remember, the bigger your brand, the bigger your bag. Stay this out, no cap. Current music video, see that? Plus, travel. All music video requirements are re non refundable. So y'all just better get it together, bro. And look, he ain't got nothing too good that I ain't got, bro. Look, you feel me? Look, look at what the man want for a video, bro. You see that? Y'all better wake up and be appreciative for what Junior Gang do for y'all. Let's talk about effects. Well, we're gonna talk about effects. Look, no effects. Bruh. No effects. Bruh. No effects. Bruh. And they want fifteen hundred dollars. And to be honest, only thing ain't different is he in California, LA. Nope. But I'm just saying. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, man. Fifteen hundred dollars. I can do all that. Come on, Me. man. Nah, man. Listen. All I'm saying Me. is I ain't. I ain't bur Hard, you feel me? But all I'm saying is, bro, fifteen hundred dollars for a basic video. No. Nope. So y'all can't complain or say nothing about me, cause I'm showing major love. Now remind y'all, I'm supposed to be Hollywood. <laughs> a lot of y'all, I'm showing y'all love. <laughs> I understand your frustration. I want to make this video to help you out and then also hopefully help out tens of thousands of other people out there that end up watching this video. We're going to talk about how to go from, let's say in the beginning you're doing work for free and then you start charging a little bit, a few hundred dollars and you start working your way up into the thousands and then you want to work your way up even to the tens of thousands. That's what we're going to talk about in this video right here. No, no hard feelings at all. I just, I can relate because in the beginning I used to get frustrated like that and sometimes I would think about about letting it be known and, and actually publicly post about being frustrated with rappers or rappers not respecting my pricing and people wouldn't pay me what I want for beats. There's a reason why you shouldn't do that. And it comes down to persuasion and influence and then business one-on-one supply and demand. Let's talk about it in this video. Also behind the scenes of two music videos. Welcome to the video. Crack a lag on the truck. everyone welcome to a new vlog cooking and shout out to the videographer that posted that story thank you for giving me today's topic of the video what's up everyone we're in my hometown lansing michigan shoot a music video for an artist named tay the name of the song is you wouldn't understand off his project notepad hey. Come like that, man. They playing. It's like they'll wait to drop a new song until they actually have a music video for it. But I think it's good to kind of like put out some songs, yeah. let them pick which song they like the most. Yeah. Then you spend they, the money to shoot that video. Nah, yeah. 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 Uh, you wanna understand, bro? I'm eleven, bro. You just get bigger, man. Ones with everybody. All right, so first and foremost, let's just talk business 101, which is supply and demand, okay? You and I, we can decide what we want to charge, what we think that we're worth, but at the end of the day, the market's always gonna determine if we're worth that or not. Now, what I mean is, let's say tomorrow I was like, music videos are $100,000. Just because I say a music video is $100,000 doesn't mean that anyone's gonna pay me $100,000. So value what you think your time is worth, that's the price you put out there, and then the market decides if you're worth that or not. Right now, myself with music videos, I'm very, very booked, and my plans for next year is to be double what I'm at right now as far as my minimum. Also, another thing is like, the bigger the budget, the more you're able to do and put into something it's the value of what you think you are worth where you're at right now with your career i hear nightmare stories from guys all the time where they tell me about man the guys that i work with they complain and they're only willing to pay this and they got all the money in the videos and they cheap and don't want to invest in themselves blah 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 i always think the whole time they're saying that is like man i remember that stage that stage sucks you're working with the wrong clients like the guys that are complaining about your prices aren't the clients that i'm working with and they're not the clients that you want to work with either because if they're complaining about your prices they don't respect your time or your value or what it is that you're doing for them. Yeah, not talking up to yourself. You gotta only go up in life and down in weight. Are you hungry? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're in the car now on our way to Detroit, Michigan. I'm from Lansing, Michigan. This is an hour and a half drive. It's all about being professional. Imagine if McDonald's was like, hey, Burger King's cheeseburgers ain't got shit 
down ours. Come over here. I'm a strong believer in you don't come up from speaking down on others. Another thing is you attract what you put out. So when you're putting that out there, what you're really saying is I'm struggling to get paid what I want. I'm dealing with a lot of people that aren't agreeing with my pricing. Business is not good right now. You're showing desperation. You want to be showing opposite. Perception is reality. So the perception of what you're putting out there is, again, business is slow right now. People aren't valuing what I'm worth and I'm having a hard time going over my pricing. Now let's talk about the opposite. Hey, how much for this? This is my price and I'm booked for six months. Business is booming. There's no deals. Prices are, are gonna be going up very soon. We're booked out, business is booming. That's what you wanna attract. With perception, showing people that you're busy. Busy is good. Busy means, look, all of these people value me and my work, so I'm always busy. Showing that you have authority is showing that you're busy. Look at me, I'm going here doing this. I'm going here doing this. It's social proof. I'm not doing all these things for free. I'm charging and I'm charging what I want. So when I tell you my prices, if you don't agree with it, you're gonna continue to see me busy and I'm gonna continue to be making moves and working with other people. There's a line here. It's not like there's no one in line, so I gotta hire someone to stand at the corner holding a sign up like, cheap videos over here, cheap beats, cheap studio time, come here, no. Picture two restaurants. One restaurant's parking lot is jam packed with cars. The other restaurant parking lot is empty. Which one do you think has better food? Let's say the empty parking lot has better food, the jam packed one, that's perception. Let's say you got a rapper, 500 followers, and a rapper with 50,000 followers. Which one do you think charges more for a feature? The one with the bigger following. Talent is, you know, it's like, uh, okay, that's one piece to the puzzle of 50 pieces. But the mother 49 pieces are key factors in pricing. As far as equipment, I noticed that you mentioned equipment. Trust me, I was with a industry music video director. This is two years ago. I asked him his pricing. Me and him use the same camera. At this time, I'm charging four to $600 for music videos. He says two to $30,000. I said two to $30,000, that's a hell of a price range. And he's like, yeah. And I said, dude, I charge 400 to $600 for a music video today. He laughed and said, what the hell are you gonna do with that? I don't, I've shot 300 music videos all under this price. Now equipment, you do have to have like a bare minimum. Let's say on a studio, you have to have a microphone, you have to have a interface, you have to have some sort of speakers. You can't expect to charge $5,000 for a photo shoot, $5,000 for a music video. If you don't have a camera, you show up with your phone. So there is a bare minimum of equipment, but equipment isn't like, okay, this guy charges this much, he's got this camera, I'm gonna buy the same camera, now I charge the same. No, that's not how it works. What is your experience? What is your reputation? How big is your brand? The bigger your brand, the bigger your bag. Remember that. Gym sound effect. Let me get three of them. Boom, boom, boom. Your pricing doesn't have to be compared to the other people's pricing. Maybe in the beginning, for example, with my studio, in the beginning, I, I did become aware of what is everyone else around here charged locally for an hour of studio time. And I think at the time it was like 35. And I was like, all right, I'm not as good as them. I haven't been doing it as long as them. They have better equipment than me. They have a lot more clientele than me. Okay, I'm going to be 25 an hour. Let me do this. Once I got so busy that like people wanted 60, 70, 80 hours a week of studio time, I don't have enough supply, supply and demand. I don't have enough supply. I don't have enough time to do that. So I'm gonna raise my prices. So then I started charging 35 an hour just like everyone else. Now eventually where I am today, I don't care what the other guys around here charge because I know that my time is in extreme demand. So I'm gonna charge what I feel my time is worth regardless of the other studios around being $30 an hour cheaper or eventually $50 an hour cheaper, I'm gonna charge what I think my time is worth. Don't become a product of your environment. Make your environment a product of you. Trust me, I live in a small city and you would think to charge some of the pricing that I charge for my services, I'd have to live in a bigger city, but I don't let that discourage me. And as you see, a lot of these vlogs and behind the scenes videos, what are we doing right now? We're, we're driving hours away to go get the bag. I'm not depending on my location. I live there, but that's that's where I begin every trip from. You know, we, we start in Lansing, Michigan, little old Lansing, Michigan, but then we drive to the big cities to go get the bag. You gotta attract the people that you wanna work with. And you do that through how you present yourself, how you brand yourself, building your following, establishing yourself, creating a reputation. It doesn't happen overnight. This is year 17 for me. Scott Source can have the same piano and 808 and clap sound as me, but is his beat gonna cost the same price as mine? No. It's gonna be way more. He's Scott Storch. If there's a song, let's say I'm a rapper, new song featuring Crackalack versus new song featuring Drake. That Drake feature is gonna cost a lot more than that Crackalack feature because Drake is a way bigger brand. Has nothing to do with his lyrical abilities. Drake could get on the song and say the ABCs, but he's gonna get paid hundreds of times more than what I would get paid because he's Drake. Bigger the brand, bigger the bag. 
Oh wait, is this? Yeah. Okay, let's hear the accent. Shout out to Crackalack on the track, my guy. We out here in Detroit, Michigan, Lansing, Yak, and YC. The whole East, the whole West. We out here. We about to shoot this video with the homegirl Vito Storm. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Pull up Below's Instagram, go to Explore. What do we see? Bunch of bitches in the ass. To briefly add to the no effects statement, from someone who's been doing this for 17 years, over and over time and time again, I can tell you that less is more. The word basic was the wrong word. Clean and professional was the correct word. Almost anything amateur screams too much, right? So let's talk photography, right? Photographers, you know, when you edit your pictures, you color correct them. Amateur photographers do too much. They add too much saturation, they overdo it, and it doesn't even look like a picture anymore. What you would do is you would open up a magazine Pay attention to how those pictures look. Compare your pictures to those. There's some sort of standard, right? So obviously, always be creative. Think outside of the box. Have your own style and look. But there is some sort of standard there. With music videos, watch a lot of professional music videos. I used to never watch music videos until I added a TV in my studio. And now I have music videos playing in there all the time. And one thing I noticed was like, after not watching music videos for years and years and years, I used to think that they had crazy effect and I needed to add a whole bunch of stuff to them. And that was honestly never my style. I never really liked that. And then when I started watching a lot of music videos, it's like, bro, that's, a lot of them are very simple. I think simple equals effective. Simple equals clean. It lets the quality stand out. Listen to beats nowadays, right? The beats with a million instruments and so much going on, there's not enough room for the artist to do what the artist does, which would be the melody, you know? So you gotta simplify it. <laughs> you scared me. Shout out to V, she's the artist of Beatles Storm of this video shoot right here. What works for you might not work for the next person, right? I remember when Cole Bennett came out, he had the crazy animated where the X is on the eyes, right? I thought it was very dope. Well, what happened was then a lot of upcoming rappers, they're like, yo, can you do the, the Cole Bennett, the eye thing? And it's like, no, that's not my style. That's Cole Bennett. If, if you want that, go to Cole Bennett for that. You don't get that here. You're on the wrong channel if that's what you're looking for. Over the years, I found my style of what kind of beats I like to make and if, the market likes those, they pay for those. Same thing with music videos. If you're looking for a crazy all over the place thing, I might not be the best cameraman for you. If you're looking for a very clean, professional looking, high quality music video, that's what I take pride and enjoy doing. Same thing with recording, mixing, and mastering songs. A lot of amateur mixes are very over mixed. There's way too much compression, way too much EQ. You're doing way too much. And if you just simplify it, right it'll sound good less is more what we just talking about perception is reality right you know how many people we've met that meet him and they think that he's famous be like that sometimes. I, mean, I know i let you be around me a lot but shit. that's what ads man build that following put some money behind you nothing wrong and everything right with promoting your work your videos your music your pictures <sighs> I never thought I was gonna meet him. So you telling me gonna don't come up? No, you're permanent. Permanent. I think dollar grill. He wasn't doing no discounts. You know why? Because his fucking name. brand is booming. His right. name is booming. There could be a guy down Listen, the street. Somebody was gonna do these exactly the same for three thousand dollars less. And I went to Johnny Dang. Instead of paying twelve thousand, I paid fifteen thousand at Johnny Dang. Right. Cause he's Johnny fucking <laughs> Dang. Right. <laughs> when you work with me, you're working with cracker crack fucking lack. <laughs> As you build your brand, it don't happen overnight. But over time, you'll establish a middle name, which is motherfucking, right? <laughs> Who's behind the camera right now? It used to be Malik Brand. It's becoming M motherfucking brand. Dog. Today, I just added motherfucker to me. Be motherfucking live. <laughs> Detroit, downtown, crack a lock, Vito Storm. So branding comes down to like three main categories. One is gonna be authority, two is gonna be exclusiveness, and three is gonna be scarcity. So with authority, that kind of comes down to the pair of jeans from Walmart, the pair of jeans that are true religion, that are hundreds of dollars, right? They're both jeans, but one is that name brand, and that's why they sell it for so much more. This crew neck came from Walmart, and it was like $12, $13. Now, if this same crew neck had a polo horse right there, it'd probably be what, $60, $70? 
most people probably would pay for it because it's polo that's the brand so that's that's authority is the branding also authority is having a following right cameraman one has got 1,000 followers cameraman two has got 100,000 followers you automatically assume cameraman two that has 100,000 followers is better charges more has more experience more wisdom more videos under his belt like more exposure comes from it all the above so you got to do some reverse engineering and think of what is it that you want if what you want is to charge more for your services what do you need to have in order to charge that and one of those is always going to be authority every day i'm trying to continue to build my authority like right now today documenting behind the scene process like a lot of cameramen they don't document and do these behind the scene videos and not only do i do them but i have over 200 of them the second the second right exclusiveness people want what they can't have again like with the restaurant being booked and you know let's say this restaurant's got a two-hour wait this restaurant they're wide open you walk into the barber shop there's the main dude the best barber in the shop and he's booked for the day he's booked all week you got to schedule something next week or the, or the following week he's obviously good let's say the other barber in the back corner i can get you in right now i can get you in right now He's probably not very good. I we is in Okemos. No, this is not where. This is Okemos. This don't feel like Okemos. This is fucking Okemos. It don't bro. feel like oh. Okemos. Uh, the police, there go 12. When the new shoes come out and they're selling out, that's a good thing. Let's say a big artist comes to town, you pay him for a feature. You're the only dude in town that has a feature from this guy that's exclusive. That's why it's special and it costs a lot. Now, if everyone else in your town got a feature from that guy, it's not as valuable. The last point is scarcity, and that kind of comes with what I was talking about, being sold out, not as available being booked in advance the first video that happened today shout out to tay as of right now i'm booked out for about four to five weeks on music videos and he was like man i need to get one in i need to get one in i had an opportunity pop up and i was like bro i know it's last minute this was last night but if you are down to shoot a music video tomorrow morning like we can do it otherwise it'll be in like five weeks he said shoot i'm gonna hop on the opportunity let's do it you know so that's where scarcity comes in just like in in sales when you go there and they're like hurry up while supplies last countdown you know like 25 five minutes remaining to take advantage of this offer that scarcity it's like oh hurry up and that helps with getting paid what you want getting paid what you're worth for what it is that you do so just remember charge what you think your time is worth where your skill level is at but your branding is going to be the deciding factor and at the end of the day the market's always going to determine if you're worth that or not you could throw out whatever price you want i charge this much for this if no one pays you you're not worth it at this time yeah if you're still booked and busy and swamped with business raise your prices again and then the market's gonna respond. You're either worth it or you're not. If your phone continues to ring, that's a good sign. If your phone stops to ring, maybe you're not worth it yet. Stay on the grind, stay hungry. Subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of future uploads. See you guys in the next video. Crack it like TV. We out.